Okay, the background noise is a little loud, so sorry about that beforehand. <laughs> so, just imagine this is my neutral picture, right? Like, this is what I did in the mask layer. I just put in a local color and a really light texture over it. You can ignore the texture since that's more like an embellish. It's not actually necessary. And these are the adjustment files I talked about. Like each of these are adjustment layer masks. This one is a curves one. This is a hue saturation one. And that's a brightness one. This mask folder adjustment layer just happens to be for the foggy weather. So I mess with the hue and such. And I try to turn down the contrast. You can make new layer mask adjustments easily through here, just like in those control paint videos. I put them onto a mask so it's easier for myself to organize. And then in a new layer, I just did the general painting. Um, like this was the shadow layer, the little cast shadow here. I just put in an extra shadow layer in case I wanted to make it darker. But I put it in as a new layer so I can also take it away easily if I, someone tells me it's too dark. I will fix things later. <laughs> a general paint over layer. If I was trying to be more organized, I actually would have just done this. Command, click. And you make a new layer. And you can just paint on this side. And when you command, click on this, you can make a new layer and just paint on that side. That would be the more ideal, more organized way to do it. I made a fog background. And this. This is one of the layers where I actually control, click one of the clap, the masks. So I wouldn't accidentally paint into the background here or this side. And that's generally it. All of them follow the same pattern. Like here's the sunset one, adjustments. These also have the shadow, light, etc. But to answer your question on the, whether I was using a glaze layer would be like this. Yes, I did. Like this is a purple tint layer. I put it on overlay because I wanted to give everything a slight purple haze to it without affecting the general shape. But I, you notice I also put down the opacity really, really low so that it wouldn't overtake the picture. You can mess with that as you like. That's more like a, like a finesse thing, kind of like what I was doing with the, uh, this earlier, I guess. Oh wait, no, the texture is on the... Yeah, so that's more like a finesse thing. If I want, I could technically make a new layer and paint over that again. So, that's generally it. Uh, ask me if you have any more questions.